Scream is a great tool for passing audio from your virtual machine to your host system. To get started, let's download it from their GitHub page. And I'll leave it in the video description. Let's go to clone or download, download zip, and let's save it. Now we'll need to compile the receiver so that we can listen to the audio from our virtual machine. To do that, let's open the file we just downloaded. Let's extract it. Scream master receivers and I'll be using pulse audio. Let's read the readme and we'll need to install libpulse-dev. So let's do that. apt install and libpulse-dev and we'll also need make. Okay, I uh, installed it already. If you haven't done so, now is the time. Next, let's compile the receiver. So we'll go to downloads, the scream, receivers, and pulse audio, and we'll simply type make. Let's close this, and we should see scream pulse right here. So this file is what needs to be executed in order to listen to our audio. Let's put it somewhere where we can find it later. So let's put it under home. You can put it anywhere else. I'll keep it here. The best way to run Scream is to make it auto start at system startup. So let's do that now. We'll go to sudo gedit and uh, etc systemd the system and scream dot service okay and let's do this unit so we'll be creating this uh, system the uh, service so unit and we'll call it scream so description scream after graphical dot target service okay and let's make it start 15 seconds after system startup just so we give everything enough time to be in place sometimes i experience issues when uh, i don't do this so we'll do exec start pre equals bin slash sleep and let's give it 15 seconds okay next exec start and this will be the path to the scream uh, file we just compiled so in my case home vm scream dash pulse i as an interface and let's specify the interface this this should be listening on so ipaddr so these are our interfaces normally you would be using something like this for this would be your main interface something like this but your virtual machine 
at least in my case, and I'm guessing in many other people's cases, is on this virtual NAT network. You could also be using the host device, the tap device, but in most configurations, this does not work for host to guest network communication. So if you are using this, yeah, you might, it might be possible, but you might want to take an easier approach. So maybe sticking to this, or if you are using your own network card for your virtual machine, that's another option that should work. And in that case, you would specify, as long as they are on the same subnet, you would specify your main network card for the Scream client to listen to. But because we are using the virtual network NAT card, we'll be using this uh, virtual bridge. So we'll specify that virtual bridge zero. And again, it depends on what interface you are using for your virtual machine. But I guess this is the most common and default configuration. So it works well, I'll stick to it. But your use case might be different. And uh, let's do user equals VM. That's in my case, user is VM. If your user is something else, do that. And then install wanted by qimu dash avm dot service. Okay, so that should be good. Let's save it. Let's close it. And now sudo system ctl enable scream dot service. Okay, let's reboot and let's see whether it's enabled. So this should enable it to start up on system startup. Okay, we're back. Let's see our terminal. And system CTL status screen dot service. And it's running. It should be ready for us to start up our virtual machine and get it working. Okay, so the next step, let's open our virtual machine manager. And it doesn't matter whether you are using looking glass or whether you are not using any GPU for your virtual machine or whether you are doing pass through, this should work either way. As long as you're on the same network, you can even be using a different machine entirely and you should be able to listen to your audio. You just have to make sure you have the right interface specified. If you have issues with the uh, Scream, what you can do is uh, stop the service. So sudo system ctl stop Cream dot service and then start. Scream dot service. Okay, so there was our fifteen second delay there, and uh, it should work fine either way. So that's if you have problems. And now let's get the virtual machine started and let's install the client uh, application for Scream. And let's go again to the Scream website and let's scroll down and let's download the file for the virtual machines, the one that we'll be installing there. And let's save that. Let's extract it. 
let's open the readme and install dot bat and we have to run it as administrator okay now that that's done and here are our scream speakers so now when we play something we should be able to hear it on the host machine Okay. And with the first breath, our journey begins. Let's see. One that can take us anywhere. So, the ad was playing, we could hear that. And uh, yeah, that scream working, we can through the headphones or speakers connected to the host, now we can listen to any audio directly from the host or audio that's coming from the virtual machine itself. Uh, one thing to remember is that if you try to run more than one virtual machine with Scream at the same time, that's very important at the same time, uh, you, you will have audio issues. Uh, if you want to get around that, you might run, might want to run multiple clients maybe, and possibly set them to unicast each receiving their own unicast traffic that's one way to do it but i don't think that that many people will try to run multiple clients at the same time so yeah that's that should be that for a scream a great program very useful and uh, thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video